welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and um, and welcome to the show. Okay, so a couple of things here. Um, the first thing, all my books were falling as the show started, and I was trying to fix them, and now I'm just trying to fix that. Okay. So, no, I don't look in a mirror before the show starts. Um, here we go now. Um, so a couple quick announcements. I will be taking callers on the call log. If you'd like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, the number is 845-277-9131. Um, please have a very specific question available, meaning is this going to happen or is that going to happen? Please don't ask, you know, oh, just give me a message. Um, a lot of times people don't like those messages or it just takes a little longer to get to them. And for the sake of a show, I would prefer you have an exact question available about your life, love, career, finances, any area of your life at all. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, just give me their the loved one's name and their relationship to you. Okay, so if you want just an angel message, apparently today you can ask for that. I am no longer the boss of my show, folks. <clears throat> I am no longer the boss of my show. <laughs> it is what it is. It's like that song, I said what I said, they said what they said. If you would like a, just an angel message, you can ask for an angel message. It may not make, this is what they're saying, it may not make sense today, but it will make sense either for the past, something that happened in the past, something that's going on now, or something that's going to be going on in your future. This is what they're saying. Okay, the next thing. Um, I will also be answering questions in the call log. So if you have questions you would like to ask, you can also put them in the call log and I will answer them. So just to rephrase, you get one question. It can be an exact question or it can be a connection, an exact question, a connection to a loved one on the other side, or it can be an angel message. Okay, we're going to do everything we normally do because there's been a couple things happening um, that I'm really excited about, believe it or not. Um, so I think in my last show, the name Cinnamon came through and I was making hella jokes about it. And then it was um, some one of the, the people in the chat, it was their father's horse's name. So I really feel like that is really so powerful for people to see that. And then one time my little pony came through and it was a guy, his, he kept his little pony, my little pony from his daughter who had passed. Those are huge confirmations for people. Those are really big confirmations for people. And it's so important that people get those confirmations. So I'm going to keep doing the names. Now remember the name could be your name, their name, somebody you love's name, or it it could be anything. Whatever comes through, it's a confirmation for you. And please remember this show airs on WSES. The award ceremony is coming. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, and all of their streaming channels. Um, <clears throat> and on their YouTube channel, which by the way, WSES is rocking out my show. Like they'll put my show out and it gets so many views. It's amazing. Like some of them, some like will only get a couple views, but other ones like they put one show out and it had over 600 views in the first day. I was like, what did I do in that show? Um, 
and then Rude Rangers TV, and they put it on all of their streaming stations and their uh, podcast and their radio station. So it goes out on all of that also. Um, let's see what else. Um, so the confirmations or the names or the songs could be for anyone listening on any any place. And if I say a name that is like Brian, it could be for more than one person. Even if somebody claims it, it still could be for other people. So just please keep that in mind as we go. I think if I, nope, that's not helping either. Um, I, as we go, I'm trying to fix the camera so I don't, um, anyway, I'm going to let that go. Uh, so let's um, get started. And I may channel today. They're, they're, they will let me know. They being, you know, them. <laughs> them. Um, <clears throat> So let's get started with the names. Um, the names that we're going to, uh, the again, the names can be your name, their name, or something that is a confirmation that they are still, they are with you and letting you know. The first thing I'm hearing, seeing, I'm seeing a butterfly tattoo. Um, and actually, they're, they're now that I said that, they're showing me many butterfly tattoos. Some of them have are, are colored in. This isn't the spot they're in. They can be any place. And some of them are just an outline of a butterfly tattoo. I'm seeing tattoos with dates like birth and going home date or departure date, entry and departure date. Um, I'm seeing somebody has a tattoo of an elephant. Uh, I don't even know. That is so, I think that one is going to be so specific. How many people have elephant tattoos? I need to know now. I think I'm going to Google that. Um, the next, okay, we're going to move out of there. They're just showing me confirmations that they see that. Okay, the next thing that I, I'm supposed to be on names, but words, we're just going to call it words now. Joe, Jennifer. Lexi or Luxi. Okay, Lexi or Luxi. I heard Luxi and then that, I don't know that name. So then I just said Lexi, but it could be both names or either name. <clears throat> Mikhail. I had to say that slowly so I didn't mispronounce it. Penelope. Fong. Yeah, Fong, Jessup, Lorenzo, I think Janine was, they said Janine on the last show also, Janine, Oksana, Missy, Spot, Carrie, and then I'm just hearing the statement, look, she's crawling, look, she's crawling. So whomever those are for, the songs, again, the songs can be your name, their name. I'm so sorry. That is the songs a song answers a question that you have, um, a song they love, you love, or a song that reminds you of them. The songs can be many different things. We're going to go with songs right now. The first song is um, they have been doing this song for a while. It starts out, na 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 no, no, no. And then it skips straight to what I believe is the chorus. And I think this is the same song. Live and let it die. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. I just need to stop singing that now. Um, the next song is. 
It's not the Johnny Cash version, but that's on the old train riding, and it's coming down the track. I don't know. Maybe that is Johnny Cash. Those are the only words I'm hearing, and I don't know if I've ever heard that song in my life. The next song I'm hearing is... Um, Take me in your arms, fill me with your charms. I can't wait. I can't wait. And if I'm getting the words wrong, I truly do apologize for that. That is, I'm doing the best I can with what I'm getting. So please be kind and understanding about that. The next song is, um, Don't, Don't You Want Me. <laughs> that is not the song I thought I was going to be singing. <laughs> You know I can't believe it when I hear that you won't see me. Don't, don't you want me? Oh, there's so many sarcastic comments I have for that song, especially today, folks, especially today. Um, okay, um, this, I know what song this is, but I'm, I, okay, let me get the, the verse of it or the words of it. I, I, oh gosh, I think I'm going to have to stop the songs because I'm not getting a strong enough, just a strong enough, um, a strong enough uh, connection to it. So, okay. Here we go. I'm going to do two more songs. Usually when I do this, they all flood in. I'm going to do two more songs. Something about drip. There's a song about drip or the title is drip or something. Whomever is for that, you're going to know that. And the, do you know what the thing is? They're bringing songs through today that I think most of them I've never, ever heard before. And I'm trying to catch I can't sing in the first place, but then I'm trying to catch the 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 verse of it or the words of it. And it's really difficult because I just don't know, even never heard the song. And then the last song, two trailer park girls come around the outside, round the outside, round the outside. And that's it for songs today, folks. <laughs> that's it. We're stopping right there. Okay. Um, so we're going to go into, should I, should I, should I channel today or should I, I'm going to go right into phone calls and questions. I'm going to be answering calls from the call log and answering questions on the chat. So if you have put a question in the, the chat, please let me know. So I'm going to say Kate B., my aunt got a butterfly tattoo at 70. That's so awesome. Kate, my mom um, did get a tattoo much later in life also. And she did balloons. And in each balloon was the name of one of her children. So she had seven balloons on her thigh <laughs> at like 60 some years old. She did it. I love that. I love it so much. Um, I'm just going to scroll back a little bit and um, and I want to make sure. Uh, thank you again. I don't think I said this in the beginning. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here and spending this time with me um, and bringing your questions, bringing your uh, conversations on the call log. Um and uh, and just just being here and being part of the journey of this show. Um, yes. Okay. Really quick. February second, I'm going to be in Daytona doing a live event. If you'd like to join the event, it's at the Cinematique in Daytona, Florida. It's it's just going to be so exciting. Um, <clears throat> and then. In May, I spent all weekend uploading the shows to enter into the um, the the contest for the shows, and um, I don't know if I picked good shows or not, uh, but I'll find out. I'll find out, and I'll let you guys know. 
I'm very excited about it. Uh, for those of you, um, I know I've already said this, and some of you already know this. The conference this year is being held in Eau Claire, and that's where I was born. So it seems I haven't been back there in years. So it'll be very exciting. Um, okay, we're going to go to the first caller, who is 832. 832, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Lisa, and I'm calling from Houston. Lisa, thank you for calling in today. How can I help you? Yes, I would just like to have a uh, message from my mom. And your mom's first name, please? It was Bonnie. Bonnie? Okay, give yes, me a Bonnie. second. Okay. I'm going to tell you, Lisa, she comes in with a man. He may not have been thin while he was, you know, in his prime, but toward the end, he got very thin and very frail. This could be her father, your grandfather, or her partner, one of her, I don't want to say one of her partners in life, but somebody she was very close to. It could also be a brother, but she comes in with a male who toward the end of his time here, he became very frail and thin. And then there's also a very, um, I'm going to use the word buxom because that's the word I'm hearing, a very buxom woman with them. So they're coming in in a group of three. And do you have a specific area that you would like them to address for you, love? Yes, I would just like to know if I'm, you know, doing the right thing in my life and just be, uh, I'm on the right path or something. You're really close. You're really, really close. Um, let me let me ask. No, I'm not going to ask you. I'm going to tell you, you are almost there. You're about to. Like, I hear that song. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. When she comes. OK, so what they're saying is you're you're just about there. You're just you're coming around that mountain and you're going to be in that space so soon where it's all going to come together and be what you want it to be. So what I'm hearing may, so either in the month of May or by the month of May, something significant is going to come forward and show you that you are really on the right track. Um, I hear the word order. I don't know if this means what this means for you, but you will when the time comes you're going to know what that word means for you. Um, and then the other thing they want to say is they've been, they've been pu pu <laughs> pushing you or prodding <laughs> you all the way. And it's been difficult because you're so, you're so um, he hesitant or nervous about certain aspects of this, but they've been trying to show you to just, if you just, okay, I'm going to say it this way. If you just grab onto the balloon and let it take you up and fly away, you're going to be good. Like stop trying to be, I want to say this correctly, so be patient with me, please. Stop. There's a, there, like, it's almost like they're saying, there's an easier way you can forge forward and just fly with it is the way I'm taking this. You don't have to go crawling or baby step by baby step. You can just fly with this if you just let go of uh, apprehension or fear or questioning yourself. So for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening, let's clear and release any apprehension, fear, any anything holding us back. Let's clear that now. <sighs> we think we need this. Yeah, we think we need this. We don't. We don't need anything to hold us back. Let's clear all of that. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to say something to you, Lisa. When one door closes, 
two doors open and five windows fly open also. Okay. So if something, okay. if something gets closed, if something stops, if something gets, you know, ends, stops, whatever, how, whatever verbiage you want to use, say thank you. Just say thank you. Bye. See ya. Whatever it is. And look around because the moment you cut free from whatever stopped, you're going to see all these new opportunities around you, all these doors opening and windows opening. And each one is going to be something new that will be really, <clears throat> excuse me, something new that will be very, very good for you. Okay, Lisa? Okay. I hope this was helpful, love. Yes, it was. And thank you. You are so welcome. Please call back anytime. I'm happy to help you in any way that I can. Okay, sweetie? Okay, and thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome. Okay, I'm going to try to find a question on the chat. I'm sorry uh, if, I, if it takes me a moment to find it. Hey, Karma Karen, Rebecca, Amy. Um, uh, Michelle Lee, Isabella, Heather, Elizabeth. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Hey, Mo, Mo. Hey, Mo, how are you, Nancy? Okay, I need to focus on a question. Okay, um, I'm going to go to um, Isabella. Hi, Tony. I was wondering what you see for my love life this year. I broke up with my boyfriend, Nick. Not sure if I will find someone new or if he will come back or change. Okay. I love, 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 love this question. Um, Isabella, I, first, I'm so sorry for the breakup. And I, I feel like this is a pattern, like you guys, you know, get together to uh, the makeup to break up, break up to makeup situation ship thing. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to spend a second on this, not only for you, but for everybody else listening. And I bet I've been in that. I've, I've been in it where, you know, <clears throat> there's this hope. This time it's going to be different. This time it's going to work out. This time, you know, but but it, people have what I like to call a shelf life in a relationship. And if you look back at your relationship, however long that cycle that the two of you go through lasts, that's their shelf life in any relationship. So, and then it gets shorter and shorter and shorter sometimes with some people. What I'm going to say to you is that once a pattern is established in a relationship, it's really easy to continue that pattern and have it just break up and that be the answer to any problem or take a break and have that be the answer or the solution. If I just walk away, we don't have to deal with this. Then when I go back, then it won't come up because we'll just be in that it's all new and fun and hot again phase. Um, if I'm being honest, what I'm hearing for you is do your best to move on. Do I know it's not easy. I know it's very difficult because there's a lot of what they call trauma bonding in situations like this. So we're going to heal for you and anybody else listening we're going to heal all, we're going to clear and heal unhealthy cycles, all the programs that cause them, all the beliefs that cause them, and we're going to clear and heal also that and along with that, any trauma bonding and all the beliefs and programs, all that 
kept and caused all of this. We're going to pull it out. And you may feel this in your chest area and your throat area. Because often in situations like this, <clears throat> we, yeah, as my throat goes, as my voice goes, often in situations like this, we don't get to say what we really want, because we're always afraid to say anything. Because that might be the thing. So we have to like tiptoe around words and try to say everything in this perfect way. And that's, that's not a healthy. Oh, so let's clear release all of that. And then what I want to say to you is if you can, and, and there's so much going on that, that if you can let this go right now, if you can let this be it for this situation, um, and you can, um, let me do this for you and everybody listening, everybody be listening. We have learned all the lessons we need to learn from this. Let's let's download, let's clear that, download any information or lessons um, that we needed to learn from this and um, and let's clear that too. Um, if you can move forward and you can completely, just tell yourself, because a lot of times in these cases, we're waiting to see if it's really over or not. That's up to you. That That's a decision you have to make and you have to stand firm on it. Whether this person comes back or not doesn't change where you should be with this. Okay. So if, if somebody's, if there's a breakup and somebody comes back, that doesn't mean Oh, he came back, so it's supposed to work out. Not always. That means you might be starting another cycle that's going to last two to three months, six months, whatever it is, and it's going to end exactly the same way because now this is the pattern of the situationship. So what I would say to you is you make your choice that's healthiest for you from your head, not your heart, okay? Because your head, your logical self, knows the best thing for you, knows the best situation for you. The heart just wants to feel like everything is okay. And it's normal that when we go through a situation where there's an argument, a breakup, our natural instinct as a human is to fix that to make it okay, and to feel better. But in situations like this, when we try to fix it, we end up back in the situation again. And then we end up again repeating it. So what I'm going to say to you is, if you can, and it, I'm not the boss of you, when I'm the boss of my bladder, I will try to be the boss of something else, okay? If you can, just tell yourself this time is the last time and actually go on on a date. Go out on a date, even with somebody, and I don't mean this, please don't, don't think badly of this statement, even if it's somebody you're not romantically interested in, especially if it's somebody you're not romantically interested in. Go out on a date with one of your male friends. Go out on a date with... Um, a female friend, get out there, have fun, and and reach out to your, your male friends and have communication with them because that's going to help you to move forward and know there are healthier situations out there. Um, in the end, the question I want to ask you about this past situation is, You've made it through this far in this way. Here's the most important question. This relationship has proven to be what it is. It's not going to change. So if this is it, if this is him, and this is the relationship for the rest of your life, do you want that? No, no, no. You cannot change a person. They can only change themselves. You cannot change the dynamics by yourself. The other person also has to change so the dynamics can change together. Even counseling can't change some dynamics. 
because people are sitting in counseling just blaming each other instead of coming to a resolve. So if this is it, is this how you want to live the rest of your life in an on again, off again, on again, off again, never knowing? That's not, that's not, that's not healthy. That's not good. That's not love. That's, it is love, but it's, it's not the love you truly want. Having said all of that, having said all of that, if you can let go of this, knowing that this will be it, then what I want to say to you is this. Somebody will come in, I feel the end of May, beginning of June, that gives you plenty of time to heal, plenty of time to heal, and get yourself together, focus in on you, just start doing you, go, you know, buy, if you can't go for facials and to the spa, or if you don't want to go to the spa, get the stuff to do it at home. Um, start taking care of you, get to the gym, take some cooking classes, whatever it is that enriches your life and makes you happy around the end of mid-May, the 18th, the 21st, 27th are dates that are good for you in May. You should be out and about. And then into the beginning of June, you're going to have the opportunity to meet somebody brand spanking new. Um, so I, just know that. And you guys, apparently my computer, um, my computer battery is dying. So just hold on. I have to make sure it's, it's always plugged in. I don't know how this has happened, but just one quick second. I'm going to scooch away from the camera just for a second and um, make sure it's plugged in. I will keep talking, but you guys, please know. Um, there we go. Again, you have to make the choice that is best for you in this situation. I'm so sorry about that, everybody. Um, please so sorry about that. So you have to make the choice that's best for you in this situation as far as moving forward. Is this the pattern I want to keep repeating? Moving forward, is this is this how I want to spend my life? Now, if I were to say to you or anybody else listening, is this, you know, when you think of this person, yeah, you like them. But when you think about your husband, the person you want to actually make a bow to or or have that and I would ask you to describe that person without Nick in the picture the person you described would be a hundred percent different than him a hundred percent different because when we're dating we date one kind of person but when we're ready to get serious we go for a whole different type of person Okay, um, I'm going to let that be there. I'm going to go to the next caller. The next caller. Thank you for asking that, Isabel, Isabella. I hope that that is helpful for you. I'm going to go to 216. 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? This is Desmond calling from Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, how can I how help you? Doing? you? I'm good. How are you today? I'm trying pretty good. Excellent. How can I help um, you today? Do you see me uh, meet somebody this year or, or next year? Well, um, both. Um, so we can meet someone before we meet what most people call the one. So what I would say to you is, you have the potential to meet someone in the next month to month and a half. Um, I feel like this is going to be a relationship that has a little bit of time to it, but won't be a, a, a long, long term relationship. I feel like it's what we might call a filler of a relationship. It's something that's going to last maybe three months or so. Um, and don't, you know, here's the thing. Sometimes we can learn more in those relationships than we do in, in relationships that are set for life. Um, so don't 
think, oh, it's only going to be three months. I'm going to skip it. I don't want to go through the trouble of it. Um, there are things to be learned in that and, and experiences that you get to have that are good and bad um, in that situation. And then in 2024, December, you're going to meet, you have the potential to meet someone that is magnificent for you. Okay. This person is magnificent for you. This person will be, I hear that song, uh, the wind beneath my wings. Um, they're going to help you to push forward, to fly higher, to, to be, you're going to want to, you know, sometimes we meet someone and we want to become a better version of us. And if we're lucky to meet that person, I've met that person in my life that made me want to be the most magnificent version of myself. And hopefully I'll meet somebody like that again in my life. But when we meet somebody like that, we freaking take off. And if we're with the right person, they will they will they will be that wind that that like uh, that like uh, we can go hang gliding in that in that if that makes sense i don't know if that's a good analogy or not but um so i hope that that you do uh you are open to that possibility the next person is a casual situation make sure you both know that all the way through don't let anybody think that they're going to be the one or it. Make sure you're being honest and upfront and giving them the option of if they want to be in a casual situation or not. I feel like that's going to last about three, maybe four months. And again, that might come in right around... I heard June, but then I heard August. So during one of those times, and again, there's going to be some experiences that you have there that are going to really make you appreciate your person in December and also some experience that are really good. Okay. Okay. Whew. Okay. Excellent. Right. I hope that's helpful for you. I hope that you enjoy that. And uh, please come back and let us let us know about it, okay? Okay, I appreciate and the reading. I think absolutely. And I just I just need to say that as I was getting ready to like, you know, let you go, so to say, um, I heard start that business. So whatever that means for you, and that doesn't mean quit your day job, and start a whole business um, and run with it, you know, without have. It means there's something you can start on the side that is going to be very good for you. Now, I am hearing it's not an MLM. It is an actual business and you're going to do it part time to start off with. Get on it, stay on it and watch it grow. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. I hope I uh I look forward to next time. Okay, thank you. You are you are so so welcome. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go to another question from online. Uh, <laughs> um Heather, I'll catch that later. We have a family wedding on Saturday. This is Elizabeth from the YouTube chat. We have a family wedding on Saturday. Any messages from my grandparents before the wedding? Do they do they like the music and the playlist? Oh my gosh, I wish I would not had read that because the first thing I was getting is they want some clap, not classic, but like a play at least one Lawrence Welk and one, um, I think it's Elvis song. And did one of them like Loretta Lynn? I don't even know if she's still, I think, is she still with us, Loretta Lynn? Um, yeah, they love it. They love it. 
They love it. That's that's where I'm going to put that. They absolutely love it. Um, and I keep hearing these. I, I hope I'm not incorrect on this, but there might have been, there's someone on the other side. If it's not your grandparents, it's like an aunt, an uncle, whomever, that really, they keep talking about country music. <laughs> so... <laughs> Whatever that's worth for you. Okay, Elizabeth, I hope that's really helpful. Um, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 519. 519, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Jennifer from Canada. Hey, Jennifer, how can I help you today? Happy New Year. Um, my question is, is so like the last maybe a month or so when I'm pulling tarot cards, I've been picking the tower, um, which isn't really the most favorable of cards, but I'm asking about society. Lately, it's been a lot better. Do you feel like we've overcome, like the, the light has overcome, or is this the calm before the storm? Um, I instantly hear both. And Jennifer, as you know, I have to be really careful how and what I say right now because of guidelines. So what I'm going to say, remember the tower can be a good or a bad. It's just a shocking event. Um, it can be shocking in a good way. It can be shocking in a bad way. Now, some people are taught that the tower is only a negative shocking event. And I, I get that. Um, it's something that was built on a faulty ground that needs to be rebuilt. And that, and if we look at the past three years, some might say that the foundation has been crumbling to be rebuilt, but it hasn't come all the way down. If we're talking in terms of light and dark, that is up to society, societal, that is up to society. Society will have to be in a place where they are in light. They have let go of their inner conflict. They have let go of their choice for fear and moved into their choice for faith or knowing and that they have deemed themselves not to need someone to jurisdict them in the way they have been jurisdicted. Mm. It's amazing how they're channeling yeah. this through me. I love it. It is up to each and every person to decide to be in that place where they know that they are, mm, that they are favored and favorable and they need not worry or stress about what is coming because we have always been okay. We will always be okay. We have always been protected. We will always be protected. And to stand in unity, and once you stand in unity, no arms will need to be taken. Because the unity itself and the light that comes with that will be enough to oppose whatever anybody is doing. What this runs on is fear. As long as humans are having fear, they win. Mm -hmm. They win. So mm -hmm. when they are using terms and dis-eases, and impoverishment and inflation to try to instill things that are fearful for humans and the humans, they buy into it and they believe in separation, they win. But the moment that the humans step back into, I am divine, I am the spark of the whole, I come from the creator, I can create. We as a collective create the world that we live in. And if we stay in the belief of light and strength, they cannot create darkness in our sphere. If we stay in this space and collectively do it, it is the hundredth monkey that will turn it. Oh, holy, ah, holy. 
that was very powerful. Thank you. No, thank you for the question. And thank you guys for bringing it through in a way that I won't get flagged. <laughs> I love the verbiage that they use. There is no... There is no verbiage in that that I think will be hopefully hopefully I will not get get a get another X on that. Um, so yes, thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you for the question. Thank you guys for the answer so poetically put. And it's true, you know. If we and I I say this all the time, ninety percent of us, our personal life has not changed. Everything that's going on, we're still doing our day to day. We're still having our life the way it is. And we are moving forward. And we have to build on that. We have to build, excuse me, completely on that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And, and I could also claim four of those names that you said at the beginning. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much for letting us know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's thank beautiful you. to know. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Jennifer, you. please call back again, please. I love it. And remember the tower can be the crumbling of the old to bring in the new. Perfect. Absolutely. It is. Absolutely. It is. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I look forward to next time. Okay, I'm going to go to the next. Um, the next question, I believe, is Nancy. And Nancy, hi, Tony. I would love an angel message on what I should focus on this year. Love. Absolutely love. Loving yourself, though. Um, this is the year where we get back into ourselves, we get back into what we are, what we want, and please write this down, what we are, who we are, what we want, and how we want it, taking care of ourselves, and being that example to anyone in our lives. I know it. it's, you know, for some of us, we're so like with our work and our, uh, if you have family and children and whatever else it is, but pretend the time that you're putting aside for yourself, you're putting aside for someone else so that you stick to it and you keep that slotted time as a time for you to nourish and take care of yourself and just to give yourself love in whatever way you want to love. I want to, I just want to say this for anybody listening. Um, and or watching. First of all, you can join me every Monday at noon on live on blog talk or on YouTube. And you can join in the chat or ask questions or Wednesday at 7pm. Here's the question that I want to pose to you. Would you choose you? If you were out there in the dating world, and you came across you, would you choose you? Would you date you? Would you marry you? Do you fully accept and love yourself? Do you 100% accept who you are in the now, knowing you're improving with each and every day? It, and let's clear anything that that is saying no to that. Do you unconditionally love you? Because I'm going to tell you from my experience with thousands upon thousands of people that whatever you don't accept about yourself, whatever you don't love about yourself, whatever you look at in yourself as not being perfect, in your mind, you always feel or think that that's what others feel and think about you. So they they don't even know that that so-called flaw exists, but in your head, you think they do, okay? For example, if you feel like, oh, nobody's going to want me because of A, B, or C, 
because people didn't want me in the past because I, you know, I don't have a snatch to waste. I'm starting to get, you know, uh, uh, some uh, crow's feet, um, whatever it is. You're always going to think when they are looking at you or seeing you or talking with you, whatever it is, emotional, psychological, whatever, you're going to feel like that's what they're seeing or doing. So get to a space where you totally are in love with yourself the way you love others or the way you want someone to love you. And I'm going to go one step further. You know, when you meet someone and you're so in love with them and then you start to see little things about them, those are usually the same things you see about yourself. <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. It's so true. People can get a puppy or a kitten and they love this puppy or kitten. Then all of a sudden the kitten's got an attitude. Well, cats do, but whatever. <laughs> and the dog has an attitude. Oh, this dog has an attitude. No. Oh, no, no. Mm -mm. That dog has an attitude, maybe because you taught it to have an attitude. It's starting to become more like you, or it doesn't. And that's just what you're projecting. Anyway, that's what that's what I have about that. Um, Nancy, um, I don't even know if I'm even answering your question or just, just channeling. Um, Mm, yes. Okay. So Nancy, I look back at your question. That was not all for you, Nancy. Please don't take that as that was all for you. Um, get into you, find you, love you. And then from there, allow, allow everything to unfold because the more you love you, the more, the higher your frequency or your energy is, the stronger it is. And the more that everything you want will come to you. Okay, Nancy, that's what I have for you. I hope that was helpful. And I'm so sorry that went off on a, a little sideways. We're going to go to 814. 814, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, hello, this is Amy, and I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hey, Amy, how can I and help you I today? I have a question. Yeah. I have a question about my work. Um, do you see anything... I see. coming forward for me. Um, I switched bosses. Like my boss that had originally hired me retired and a new boss came in and I just don't know how to take her. Okay. Um, let me just, um, you know, that female to female, relationship in the workplace can be the most difficult. And especially when we have a female in charge of us, it can be so, so challenging. She likes you. Just here's what I'm honestly hearing. Just go in, do your job. Don't be involved in, and I know you're probably not. I just have to say what I'm hearing. Okay. Don't be involved in any what they call water cooler talk. Don't talk about anyone or anything at any time. Just go and do your job and go home until everything is understood better, probably meaning her, until you get a better grasp of how she operates and what she prefers. Now, if you wanted to, you could start looking for another position. It's not necessary. Um, don't let fear, don't let fear or the unknown push you in a direction because you'll end up in a space where you have, either way, you're going to have to get to know a new boss. So pretend this is the boss that you're getting to know as though you went to a new company and a new job. And don't uh, don't fall back on the fact that your last boss liked you. There's just get 
sit back and observe and get to know how she operates. And once you understand from observation how she operates, everything will flow smoothly. Oh my gosh, that was like the most difficult message. I'm so, I hope that was helpful. Oh, we went around, but we got to it. And I really do hope it was helpful, love. Yes, thank you so much. And you are so right about the female dynamics. Oh my gosh, right? That is a yeah. Because yes. females <laughs> females can be competitive with each other without even knowing we're being competitive with each other. And we can. And and she has big shoes to fill. Don't get this wrong. She has really huge shoes to fill, right? She is stepping into some shoes that were pretty good shoes and she has to now step up and fill them. And because she is a female in that position, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for her to prove not only to the people she's the boss of that she's worthy of that, but also the people who brought her in that she's worthy of that. So she's in a space 